I've been doing this now as a hobby for about 23 years. Um, I, I used to collect shotguns and I went to a, uh, uh, a gun show in Adelaide and uh, I happened to be going around the tables and there was a guy there that had uh, some guns and he had a, about half a dozen knives on the table. And I was looking at them and I was thinking, you know, they look better than factory knives. So I said to him, uh, where'd you get those? And he said, I made them. I said, oh bullshit, who makes knives? And uh, from that day, I knew I wanted to be a knife maker. Um, and you know, here we are now, full-time business, two and a half years, and um, doing pretty well. Everything I do here, or mostly everything I do here, is recycled steel. Um, bearing races, there's a good quality of steel. Um, we make, um, there's a couple of knives in the cabinet over there made out of Carl Linder's 1931 Jaguar leaf springs. Uh, what else have we got? We've got our own Damascus steel. Um, we've become quite well known now, uh, nationally and internationally, for our Damascus steel. Um, and I create that from 21 layers of uh, steel, and that consists of old files and bandsaw blades. So hence the pattern. Very similar to uh, pastry making, I guess, or, or if you mix black and white plasticine together and twist them and fold them, uh, and manipulate them in some ways to get um, certain patterns and you can't really do two the same close but you can't do two the same and that's the uniqueness of it I guess the uh, two-man crosscut saws are a very good source of steel it's what they call L6 uh, just before Christmas we had an elderly gentleman come in with his father's father's two-man crosscut saw and we made five knives for the five grandchildren out of it. yeah I enjoy that I enjoy it. Um, we do workshops it sort of blows my mind a bit that the people that we have coming in, we've had uh, about two months ago we had an end of life doctor come in, come over from England to do a workshop because he had read about it in an in-flight magazine. And the nature of his job, it's quite stressful. And he came over here and was just out of that headspace, made something of beauty, loved it, had a great time, gone back to England. You know, we get high court judges, uh, policemen, priests, mothers and daughters, fathers and sons, and there seems to be that bonding, uh, there's a bonding thing going on, and uh, there's a resurgence for people wanting to make things with their hands, and uh, I like that, yeah, I like that. When I was 21, um, I was working in Wellington at the time, and I, I, I remember quite clearly that it was a, uh, it was a Wednesday, I was sitting in a lunchroom, I was reading something about Sydney, the, the cross in Sydney, uh, and I thought, oh, I wouldn't mind going there. So Thursday was payday, Friday lunchtime I was in Sydney, and I was walking along the cross, and uh, you know, I thought, oh, there's nothing that flash that I need to see here, and uh, I said to some guy in a hotel, uh, where's a good place to go in uh, Australia and he said well you know Adelaide's always been pretty nice so I asked him how do I get there and uh, he took me to the right bus and here I am you know I've been here ever since so I go back to New Zealand every now and again to see my daughters um, but this is home now this is home and uh, oh I love it I love it um, I'm here about six o'clock every morning and that's because I want to be you know um, I get a sense of calmness and a sense of worth maybe the fact that I have a list of orders that if I wanted to I could let them stress me out or I have a list of orders that I just enjoy doing because I know those people are going to get something pretty cool I always knew that I'd get to this point I don't know why or I just did and, and I'm here now and uh, you know, I'm just blown away by the interest of it from everybody. You know, um, all walks of life, um, different nationalities. They they all use a knife, and they all love coming in, and checking out what we have and what we do. And this will see me out now. I'll do, I'll do this for the rest of my time. <laughs>